How do you there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today I want to discuss Simon Whitlock and the three balls I finished. Just this afternoon Simon Whitlock wanted 150 to beat Daniel Larson. He was 5-1 up at the time. Daniel Larson was sat on tops at the time and Simon Whitlock decided to go for three balls. Is that world class or is that disrespectful? I think this will go down to who you ask. Now, like I said... At the situation, 150 versus 40 goes for three balls. This has been used before. We've seen this where players have used the ball, like Michael Smith on the 120 here. You can see he blocks the treble 20 bed, so he didn't want to go for that, and then goes and pings the two bullseyes. The reaction to these is what I think is key. So the reaction to him hitting this against Rob Cross, it was the first leg of the match. Absolutely, completely no sell from Rob Cross, no eye contact, no nothing, just went up and played. Michael Van Gerwen did this to Michael Smith. 20, ball, ball. Michael Smith obviously appreciates that, and they have a bit of a knuckle touch. And saw the funny side of this, again early in the match. Michael Smith did do this later on to Ian White in a European tour for the match, 6-3. So this wasn't just the opening leg. Ian White was not as happy with that situation. Now, we have seen players obviously be disappointed with this before. One of the most famous ones in 2005. Phil Taylor wanting 50 left to beat Kevin Painter. Kevin back on 2-6-2. Taylor goes and pings the ball with the first start. Kevin not happy with that and branding that as disrespectful. So you can see how this becomes a tricky topic because actually there I've shown you some examples of the exact same situation but interpreted different from the players either it's happened with or that it's happened against. In this situation, Simon Whitlock turned around and apologised straight away. I mean, it's a class shot. Three balls, 15 dart leg. It's 100 average in that one. He's 161. He, he turned around and apologised and I have been told as well that he apologised backstage as well. So obviously... Simon potentially feeling there could be something in that. Daniel Larson, though, he saw the funny side of it. He loved it. I think Daniel Larson just enjoyed having a front row seat to that moment. You can see him laughing, shaking his hand, really appreciating the class of that shot. Now, obviously, I can't show you that shot fully because it is copyrighted footage, but I will put a link to that in the description below. If you haven't yet seen that, you can go and check out that three balls I finish on the 150 from Simon. It brings us down to really where we can utilise the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think this is a disrespectful shot or a world-class shot? Personally, I really enjoyed the shot. I thought it was absolute class. I think we're seeing more of this and more of the showmanship side of darts. Like I say, that 20 bull bull creeping in Jose D'Souza with tops, tops, tops. Years ago, it had been disrespectful to go double-double, where now it's seen the most logical because the double is bigger. Is this now just part of the evolution of darts and the changing base of darts? And obviously to go alongside the rising numbers of viewership figures and attendance figures of a live events as well. Or, from a player's point of view, do you think, I wouldn't have liked that if it happened to me? Personally, if that happened to me, I would have applauded, I would have absolutely loved it to be front row for a three bullseye 150 finish. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments section below. Are you in the hat of world class? Are you disrespectful? Or are you a little bit unsure? I personally think this is world class and amazing showmanship. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please do hit the like button, subscribe. If you're new, I'll catch you in some more Edgar TV. Edgar TV.